Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to discuss how to filter some data in Microsoft Excel 2007 or 2010, how to alphabetize a list, and how to set up information in ascending and descending order. Now first off, let me kind of explain what's on the screen. I've already set up some data that has on the left we have agent names, towards the top we have the dates, and then of course we have a whole bunch of values here. What these values are, we're actually looking at a call center example of a metric that's commonly used to evaluate agents, which is their call resolution time, CRT, or average call handling time. The numbers listed on here represent seconds, the average amount of time that an agent will spend handling a call for that day. Now, the very first thing that we would probably want to do with this data, and let's just go on and try doing this, is alphabetizing the rep names and not messing up the data. So first I'm going to want to put rep names and what you want to do is first highlight your headers. Once you have that highlighted, go on to go to data and we want to put the filter. The filter will recognize that all this data is connected together because there aren't any empty cells. Go on to go to your rep name and you can put from A to Z or Z to A, and of course sort by color, but we don't have any color set up here, so we'll just do a sort A to Z. Now all of the agent names are set up in alphabetical order. All of the values that they were assigned, or all of their call resolution time numbers, have appropriately been set up to their name. So that's one way to sort. If you want to take the filter off, just simply click the filter. A lot of times you want to give your user that functionality though, and sometimes people may not be aware of this filter. So the best thing to do if you want to give people that option to organize the reps by their agent name or maybe even set up the, the call resolution time uh, by a certain value, you may want to have the filter set up. Because as an example, this is a table that we may distribute to some of our representatives. And let's just say that we want to organize or show who had the highest call resolution time for January the 11th. For January the 11th we would select that date and we can do it from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. In this case I'm going to do largest to smallest. So on this day we had three people that were at 400 seconds. These were our, our I guess we can call it our high offenders for call resolution time for that day. Now the next three people were at 372 and we had some people at 360 and we had the fastest most productive agents at 350 seconds of course this is from a call resolution um, I'm sorry call resolution time standpoint now in case you want to make this a little bit more user-friendly and you want to give it some formatting first I'm gonna take off this filter you don't need to but just for the sake of this video I'm gonna go on and take off the filter I'm gonna highlight everything go to my home screen. I'm going to set up some borders. First I'm going to do the inside. We'll do all borders. And then we'll do an outer thick border. Got that set up. And the top, we'll go on and highlight that. Let's give it a just a little blue color. Now we have a more formatted table. And you can set this up as one cell. Format cells. And go on and merge it together. and then you can center it out. That's one way to do it. Or if you want to get a little bit fancier, make it a little bit prettier, you can go to your insert, shapes, and let's go on and do a rectangular shape. Select that. Go on and just put that over. And here you can actually right click it, hit edit text, and here we can just type in call resolution time for January. And of course, you can make the font bigger. And make the box the size of your preference. And this will show you what you can do. Um, go on and click Drawing Tools if you'd like. And you can go on and change the color, the shape, or the appearance with these default values or if you don't like any of these default values, of course, you can do your, your own selection. You can do shape fill, shape outline, shape effects. 
many type of drawing tools in Microsoft Excel to make your tables look better. But this does conclude our video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.